to create a bulk effect, you need a light source. And I will create a cube with an emission shader. And of course, you need to be in cycles. So now I have three cubes that have emission on it. So these three cubes, they are lights. Then I will add a cube in the middle like this again. So I have something to put my focus on. So right now we want to add a empty and we can select vertices and press G shift tab and snap to a vertice like this. So now we, when we set our focus, it will be here. To create this bokeh effect, we need to go to the camera and we want to put on this depth of field. Then we want to add our empty and then turn down this f-stop. So now we have this bokeh effect. So what this f-stop is, is like the eye of the camera. And this works as the real-life camera, and it also works as your eyes. So if you squeeze your eyes very close to each other, this is the same thing. So point one is like barely you see anything, and then you open them as wide as you can on like two. So we have it on point one, and you have this spoke effect. With an HDRI, this is even more visible. On the HDRI now, we can see the bokeh effect much clearer. And the only thing we did was set the depth of field. And here we can set this to, if you set this to like a million, the bokeh effect disappears. But if we set this to one, that's too much. Ten is enough. Right. So there you have the bokeh effect. And the only thing you need is depth of field and f-stop.